Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to learn how you can install macOS Sonoma on a SSD. So I've got a Samsung T5 SSD that's going to be pretty fast. There's faster ones out now. You can get like a, I don't know, a T9 or something like that. Um, this one's pretty good. And I've installed betas before. I don't want to trash my main machine, so I'm going to install it on an external SSD and be able to boot up from that. So I'm going to show you the process of doing that. I've got the beta downloaded, so if you didn't already see my other videos, check out those um, videos on how you can install it. You can either do it via terminal or you can do it uh, via the just install link. There's a full installer that you can download. You won't get to any of these from Apple's website. You actually have to um, go through something like Mr. Macintosh to find the direct links, but that will be a link down below. And then once you have that, let's go ahead and install. So if you have an SSD, you need to format it. So we're going to open up disk utility. And with disk utility, you should be able to see any other disks that you have and I've got the Samsung disk right here. So you can see it's a T5. I previously started it installed and then I stopped it. So now it's like in this sort of corrupt state. If you've got it in the wrong file format, you might need to erase it and start over. So I'm just gonna call this Mac OS Sequoia. And I'm probably gonna do it without spaces just to make it easier if I ever have to do any file path stuff. So APFS is what we want. I'm not going to encrypt it since this is just going to be a dev install. And we're going to hit erase. And that's going to do its thing. It's going to create a new partition and then just clean up anything. So that way we don't actually have to delete all the files. It just sort of magically gets rid of them. Now, this isn't a secure cleanup. We're just doing this as quick as possible. So if you do need to get rid of this because you're going to give it to someone else, you're going to want to do a, a cleaner delete, but that doesn't matter for this use case. Okay, so now it is finished. So we're done with disk utility. We can go ahead and close disk utility. And then we're going to go into macOS 15 beta. So if you've got this, it should be in your applications folder. There'll be this little icon. So you can just click that and you can find it that way. That'll start this up. You hit continue, you hit agree. And then what you need to do is click on this show all devices. Uh, show all drives. From here, you should be able to select either your internal hard drive or your external. Now, I want to do this on the external because I don't want to update my main machine. So I'm going to hit continue, select my user. Now, this is what, if you select this, it's going to set a user for the drive. And if you interrupt this, you're going to have to start all over with this utility. So let's go ahead and hit install, type our password. And then it will start the install process. I don't know exactly how long this is gonna take, so we're just gonna let it run and we'll come back and find out. So I'll keep you updated. Last time I was down to like 28 minutes within a few minutes, so I think it's gonna go a little faster than it's predicting. We'll find out. I'm gonna speed up now.